Okay, see, guys? This isn't so bad. The lighting is poor. But this is still fine. Before this goes anywhere, I want to say, whoa, you guys are crazy emotional. I thought I was the only one like that, but I guess not. We've been getting some concerns and questions from people about this whole less is going to university thing. Firstly, yes, we will still be making individual videos. We're not ending anything. Secondly, when we started doing this, doing videos together wasn't an option because we were both at university. So don't worry, as long as we're in the same place, there will be videos of us together. I don't know about the quality of the videos if we do them together whilst we're apart, like Skype or any of the other video streaminess, but, because I we just don't know about the quality of it, but we will try and get you guys some, some videos of us together since those are really fun for us and you guys seem to like them too. Don't worry, nothing's changing. We're just gonna be apart for a while. It's okay. But thanks for being so concerned. You guys are really sweet. Now, on to Darwin! John Darton's The Darwin Conspiracy sort of makes me want to take everything that I learned in secondary school biology and just throw it out the window when it comes to Darwin's life. <laughs> the book is told in three different perspectives. One from Lizzie Darwin, one of Darwin's daughters, one from Darwin in his voyage on the Beagle, and Another from researchers Beth and Hugh, who are in present day and doing research about Darwin's life and his past. Not that there hasn't already been oodles of research done about that, but you know, researchers and scientific researchers are always looking for something new. So that's what they're up to when they come across some new and startling information, which I don't want to reveal, about Darwin's past, which sort of revamps the entire reason he might have gone on his voyage across the globe in the first place, whether he did it for reasons other than just setting out to find new things. I don't want to say that this contradicts everything that we know about Darwin's past, because to date his life has sort of been a muddled mystery of disease and illness and success and publishing and great renown of scientific theory. This book is surprising in that it turns the entire story of Darwin's past sort of on its head and I'm starting to wonder if this was maybe more true than what I learned. This is a very well-researched book and it's expertly executed information. It's not just some guy who looked everything up and decided to change it and throw a bunch of information at you and then tell you why that could be wrong because he decided to come up with a better fictitious plot. It is seamlessly interwoven, uh, accurate information, Names of real people and real events that took place sort of just changed up a little bit to make it into a novel. The first line of the inside cover reads, In this riveting new novel, best-selling author John Darnton transports us to Victorian England and around the world to reveal the secrets of a legendary 19th century figure. From that very beginning, I was expecting this to be completely set in the point of view of Darwin in Victorian England. It is told in three different perspectives, like I said before, and that threw me off at the beginning. But the cool thing about it was is that there were parallels between all three of the little storylines that were going on. There was one with Lizzie, and then there was one with Hugh and Beth, and then there was one with Darwin, and they all had parallels. And you know how much I love a good parallel in a book with multiple plot lines. Woo! Props to John Darnton. But other than that cool thing, the prose was very plain. But in the end, it was ultimately all necessary. Now, the best part about this book was also the scariest part. It provided a terrifying what if scenario. What if this work of fiction was actually what happened. Ah! It's a whole new way of looking at Darwin and his voyage and how his theory of natural selection came to be. I am terrified that this could actually be true even though I know it's fiction. It's so real! So real! But it is settling with me that I can probably calm down and most of what's already been researched is probably accurate. So we don't really have to worry. This has been a short review of the Darwin Conspiracy. You guys are great, as always. 
I will see you soon, Bex will see you soon, we just won't be together, but it'll be just like old times, it'll be good and it'll be great. Hope you're all having lovely days, read more books, do cool things, links to what you want are below like always, goodbye!